channel or welcome if you're new here. I'm so excited for today's video because I am trying something new here on my channel. So if you're new here, I'm Janine. You may know me as just Janine over on my Instagram. So today I am going to be doing a VSG what I eat in a day slash VSG vlog. So I'm going to basically take you with me throughout my day, show you what I'm eating, show you how I live and maintain a healthy lifestyle after VSG. So if you would like to see more videos like this here on my channel, please be sure to click the thumbs up button for me and also do me a favor and share today's video with one of your friends so like that we could all spread the motivation and also join the community here that we have. We have such a wonderful community here. The weight loss community is absolutely amazing and we all share our struggles, our lifestyles, our recipes, our favorite things. So I would love for you to join and I would love to have more people join as well. So I'm going to get started by making myself some breakfast. So let's get to it. So I have two eggs here and I'm also making some bacon. I like to get the fully cooked bacon because it is just so much easier to cook. And I cannot cook bacon if my life depended on it. I literally always burn it. So this is my go-to. I also have some spinach as well as the Kraft Italian cheese. So here's what I'll be having for breakfast. So I'm just going to put a little bit of nonstick spray in my pan and then I will go ahead and saute my spinach. And it also depends on how hungry I am as well. And for dinner tonight, I am so excited because I'm going to be making a low carb lasagna. And this has been something that I have been craving for a while. So I got all the ingredients and I'm super excited to share the recipe with you. breakfast so this is full of protein this is definitely going to keep me full until lunchtime I cut up some fresh strawberries right here on the side and this is literally one of my staple breakfast and one of my favorites so now that I finished eating breakfast and digesting all of my food it is time to take my daily multivitamins so I take a variety of different multivitamins and each one is to help me with certain things. So I will share with you what I like to take. So the first thing that I take is a vitamin D3 gummy. These are from Nature Made. It is 15 calories for two gummies and these have two grams of sugar. So I take two of these. And I also take the one a day. These are the one a day adult vitamins, but I also like to take the women's one if I can find them in stores. So I take two of these, which have 10 calories each and also have two grams of sugar. And I also take an energy B12 gummy. So I take two of these as well. And these also have two grams of sugar. So my favorite brand of vitamins are one a day 
and this nature made you can find these in target i will also link them down below for you in case you want to check these out but i really like taking the b12 for energy and personally i love to take a multivitamin that is a gummy because it is really hard for me to swallow pills especially after surgery but in general i just don't like swallowing pills so a gummy is the perfect option for me I also have a grocery haul so I went to the store to pick up a few things for dinner and I also picked up a few of my favorites so I picked up my Starbucks iced coffee this is the medium roast unsweetened and I also got my coffee make creamer original I also found this zero sugar ready whip so I figured this would be perfect if I want to add whipped cream on top of my coffee I found zero sugar cool whips so I plan on making a bunch of desserts with this so make sure that you are subscribed I also picked up some of these chopped salads this is the barbecue ranch one and I also got a Caesar one I got the Pillsbury pie crust you get two crusts in here I got my Dannon light and fit Greek yogurt in the lemon cream flavor so I love to have those for breakfast or snacks I got some cans of tomatoes. These are the Tuta Russo ones. I got the diced tomatoes as well as the crushed tomatoes. Some more Yoplait yogurt. Jason really likes this one. I also got a bunch of the McCormick seasonings and I love to cook dinners with these. So this is the white chicken chili one. It is a little hard to find this one, but this is one of my favorites, especially when I'm making a chicken chili. I also got the slow cooker fiesta chicken one I got the one skillet Tuscan chicken and vegetables and I love how all the seasonings are already done for you all you have to do is just add your protein and your veggies I got the one casserole rotisserie chicken pot pie how good does that sound with the pie crust right and I also got a beef stroganoff flavor as well so a bunch of McCormick seasonings I got the McCormick butter extract so like that I can make my smoothies with this and I also got the lemon um, I'm sorry the orange extract as well so I can put that in smoothies or if I'm baking any desserts having the extracts on hand is key also my Philadelphia one-third less fat cream cheese got two packages of those I picked up some turkey sausages so I've never tried this brand before this is the Jones one so I'm really excited to try these for breakfast and I also got the banquet one these are the turkey sausages I usually get picked up some parsley for dinner tonight as well as oops, some fresh basil well not fresh but this is as fresh as it's gonna get because this is all that the store had I got two avocados a container of sticks of butter always running out of those these are really good also the green giant simply steam so I bought two cream spinach ones and I also got a garden vegetable medley some dill so I can use that for my chicken patties needed some ricotta cheese to make the lasagna tonight I also found these enlightened ice cream bars they are only 140 calories this is the caramel fudge flavor and one bar only has six grams of sugar five grams of protein so if i want some ice cream this is going to be my go-to i also picked up a big thing of ground beef that will also be for the lasagna tonight and i also got a box of large shells because i want to do a homemade mac and cheese so this is my little grocery haul to help get me through the week and now I'm going to make myself my afternoon iced coffee. So I'm just using my Starbucks and my coffee mate. Turn your lights down low. Set your mind to default. You just can't. Undo the harm caused in a memory. And I also wanted to show you guys the shirt that I was wearing. So this is one of the tops that has the three-quarter sleeves on them. 
and I really like tops like this especially for the summertime because after having weight loss surgery and losing over 100 pounds I do have loose skin on my arms so I really like these shirts because they literally just like they hide the loose skin and I don't have to feel like self-conscious if I lift up my arms or anything like that I like the way it covers I also got these in some other different colors so let me show you the other colors that I got and if you are interested in these I will link them down below for you this video is not sponsored but I just really want to share these tops with you all because like I said the summertime is coming and I know that sometimes we don't want to wear short sleeve tops we can get self-conscious Conscious, and there's nothing wrong with that but I really wanted to show you guys a way to camouflage it so like that you can feel more confident so I got it in this really cute kind of pink magenta color as well and the name of these are called active basic tops I also got like a dusty pink color and of course a white color I already have a white and black one that I had got from Fashion Nova but I can't find them anymore and I found these like I said on Amazon and these are just totally worth it here's what you'll need to make the eggplant lasagna and I will link the full recipe down below in the description box but I just wanted to show you my favorite items to use for today's recipe Under the harm cost. So to get started making this eggplant lasagna, I'm using two eggplants. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the sides right here. So like that, I can ensure that these are going to be cut into perfect strips. And after that, you're going to want to slice this into half an inch strip. And another tip would be to try to get a long and slender eggplant like I have here because this is also going to make cutting it easier. Sometimes the eggplants come a little bit thicker here. And if you have never tried eggplant before, I would highly suggest that you try it out. It is full of protein as well, so this is really healthy. plan out on some parchment paper and this step is really important you want to make sure that you salt the eggplant because putting salt on it is going to help draw the moisture out of the eggplant so I'm gonna put some salt over this and let this sit for about 10 minutes so while we're waiting for the eggplant I preheated the oven to 400 degrees in the meantime I'm going to get my cheese mixture ready so I always like to use part skim for the ricotta cheese and for the mozzarella cheese and if you buy your cheese already in the block I would suggest that you buy it like this and you use a box grater to grate it yourself because when you do it this way it tastes delicious in the oven like there's just something about grating the cheese yourself that just takes your dish to the next level so I'm gonna work on grating the cheese now and then I'm going to make a little mixture with this and the seasonings Maybe if I try to fix this And we'll 
also get our ground beef mixture ready at this time, so I'm gonna go ahead and just brown this up. And I will get my ricotta cheese mixture ready now. So I will link the recipe and all the ingredients down below for you. take my tomato sauce I'm using this Rayo's vodka sauce but you can use any sauce that you have I'm going to pour it here into the beef mixture and let this saute as my eggplant is cooking hopes and dreams and regret now it's so sure that I have a nice big Pyrex dish so I'm just going to lay some sauce at the bottom of my dish and this is going to also help prevent it from sticking to the bottom of your pan and then just layer your eggplant on the bottom like lasagna Then go ahead and add your ricotta cheese mixture. second layer of eggplant right on top. And now this will go back into the 400 degree oven. Just what I do when I'm out, so try. 
cars I wanna drive a faster car Nothing can break me, no Nothing can break me Try not to hold me down Feel alive when I'm in this town Look at those beautiful stars I wanna take a trip to Mars Nothing can break me, no Look at this delicious, cheesy eggplant lasagna. It is cooked to perfection. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit for about 15 minutes before I slice it. I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel It's just what And we're also going to be making a dessert because I have a sweet tooth. So I have some sugar-free caramel syrup, some reduced fat peanut butter, three cups of sugar-free chocolate, vanilla, um, sorry, sugar-free chocolate jello pudding, and I'm also going to be using the zero sugar Cool Whip, and I have a pie crust. So I'm just going to layer the peanut butter, the Cool Whip, and the chocolate pudding. Nothing can break me, nothing can break me. how delicious does this look you can also make some pasta on the side for your family if they are not doing low carb but I'm going to enjoy mine just like this and dinner came out so good be sure to tag me over on Instagram if you tried this recipe it is absolutely delicious and thank you all so much for watching today's VSG vlog and what I eat in a day. I hope that you enjoyed it. Be sure to click the thumbs up button if you did. And also make sure that you are subscribed to my channel so like that you don't miss out on any more vlogs. Maybe you won't see me get emotional And sometimes I pretend I'm just above it all But I want you lying next to me Yeah, I want your body, body, body too Yeah, body too